I do love a mystery and I hope you do too. Ben from PressTube trying to figure out how much actual aluminum comes out of all these cans. In total, his count, 1,615 cans. In they go through the shredder. And it's no problem for the shredder. It's taken on much worse. But the cans don't go through just once. In the end, they go through three times to be finally chopped to allow them to easily be dumped into the heated crucible and melt down. Otherwise, in their full size, those cans, you can't fit too many and it would take forever to slowly feed them in one at a time. That's more like it. Almost to the point of confetti. Of course, this is extremely dangerous. A lot of fine aluminum pieces and particles could be floating around. So don't try this stuff at home. Now, a massive barrel and container. 20 kilos of aluminum cans. That's the total weight of the material. This is just some of it. And look at that. An explosive start using gas. And look how melted down that got from full to the brim to literally sinking down into the bottom and having to reach in to get any more and more is piled on top with that heaping spoon until a very different spoon comes in. Slag or impurities that rise to the top during the process of melting down metal. And it's really starting to pile up too. Almost none of that will count towards the weight of actual aluminum that comes out of those over 1,600 soda and beer cans. There might have been some juice cans in there too, can't forget. And here, water used to help cool down the first ingots. And by water, I mean ice that very quickly turns to water. That's just how hot that metal is, you can see that biggest piece yet thrown down on top of a giant brick of ice. Ben from Press Tube, always doing things the fun way. Now, to reprocess that slag, there's got to be more aluminum in there that was scooped out as well. So it's all reheated and most of it, in the end, dumped out as slag. Now remember, 20 kilos, a little over, almost 21 kilos, actually, the original weight. So in the end, Ben's going to need to weigh the ingots and to weigh the slag or impurities to figure out what the overall loss is and what percentage is aluminum. So let's see, all the pores together, 12, it seems there's not a lot of aluminum in aluminum cans.